Hi everyone, welcome to the Frequency Domain. In this episode, we are going to verify our last design on a step impedance low pass filter using ADS software. So, before beginning, if you haven't watched our previous video, you may want to take a quick look on that video first. Okay, let's get started. We we'll start by going to the S parameters palette and add a 50 ohm termination to the window. Now we go to the Macrocer palette and almost everything we need to do this simulation are here. So first we add a 50 ohm line and we can introduce some parameters for the dimensions. You have to know that using parameters is pretty useful in simulation software since you are always going to change and tune your first design. So let's use W0 and L0 for widths and lengths of a 50 ohm line. Our next part is a high impedance line with different widths than a 50 ohm line but in order to consider the discontinuity effect we need to add a step section in between. This part really helps the accuracy of your simulation and it is good to mention that the pin with the slash on it is the pin number one. So it connects W0 to WH. Now we can add the first section of our fifth order filter which is a high impedance line and let's call the length L1. I can copy these elements here to form the second part but of course with different dimensions since the second part is a low impedance line. And we use WL for widths of low impedance line. I can do it again for the third part, the high impedance line which has a length of L3. I'm sure that you have already found out that this filter is symmetric about the y-axis so I can easily copy and mirror these parts here to complete our filter. The next thing to do is to introduce our substrate which is RO4003C from Zrogers Corporation with the width of 0.508 mm and you can find the rest of this information in their datasheet. And let's not forget about the parameters values, which we have already calculated in the last video. You should know that the length of the 50 ohm line doesn't have an effect on the performance of the filter. The final step is to add a simulation engine, which here is a parameter engine. So I want to have a frequency response from 10 MHz to 30 GHz with 10 MHz steps. Ok, let's save our design and hit the simulation button. In the data display, we add a plot and we select all the S parameters in form of DV. Okay, here it is, the frequency response of our filter. 
As you can see, we have pretty good matching at the input and output ports from DC to around 8 GHz, so almost all the input signal passes through the filter. And after 8 GHz, the S12 has dropped sharply and simultaneously we have lost the matching at both ports. So we have a solid stop band from 13 to 27 GHz. So to measure the 3 dB passband frequency, we can use a marker like this and search for the point where S12 is equal to minus 3 dB, which is around 8.8 .8 GHz. You can also use a predefined equation and it calculates your filter bandwidth. You can find more about this equation in the help menu of the ADS software. We see the equations we have used to design our filter are not quite accurate, so how can we fix our cutoff frequency and increase it to 10 GHz? Of course, you can always perform some optimization to reach the parameters you are looking for, but here we are going to try a simple, fast, but not the best solution. Let's say we are going to change the cutoff frequency of the filter from 8.8 .8 GHz to 10 GHz. So what we generally know is that as the frequency increases, the length of the filter is decreased. So since the cutoff frequency is now equals to 8.8 .8 GHz, it means I have to reduce the lengths to have a 10 GHz low pass filter. Now what I'm going to do is that I simply introduce a correction factor and call it n, which its value is equal to 8.8 .8 divided by 10. So I multiply it by every length of the filter. Okay, let's run it again. And now we see that the cutoff frequency has increased to almost 10 GHz. Now our job is done. Thank you all for watching this video, we are hoping you find the video useful. You can share your thoughts about the video in the comment section and of course you can like and subscribe us for more videos. See you next time.